Cargo calculations. This is something a chief officer cannot afford to do it wrong. But here is the thing. It is sometimes difficult to get a hang of these calculations. There are so many tables to use and so many terms that float. That sometimes it is difficult to understand which one to use and why. Volumes and weights. By volume changes with temperature, but the weight remains the same. The cargo surveyor will provide one of the following density at a particular temperature and correction factor. A table of densities at different temperatures. Density at 15 deg C and ASTM table to use API gravity at 60 deg F and ASTM table to use. Let us say the provided values are density at 25 degrees Celsius is 0.9155 density correction factor is 0.0006 per degree Celsius. This means that at every degree rise in temperature, the density would decrease by 0.0006. This means that density at 31 deg C would be 0.9119 and the density at 32 deg C would be 0.9113. Density at 34 deg C would be 0.9101 and similarly density at 35 deg C would be 0.9095. So, in this case, we just apply these densities to get the weight of cargo in each tank and thus the total weight of the cargo. Let us say the provided values are density at 25 degrees Celsius is 0.9155 density correction factor is 0.0006 per degree Celsius. This means the cargo calculations, in this case, are also easy. We just take the density of the cargo to the corresponding cargo temperature that we measured. Rest of the calculations is the same as what we discussed in the previous section. If the cargo temperature is between two values in the density table, we just interpolate to the get the density at the desired temperature. The previous two methods are useful and applicable for cargos the density for which changes proportionally with temperature. These methods are mostly used for calculation of chemical cargos. But for petroleum products and crude oils, ASTM tables are used for calculating cargo weights. ASTM tables give the volume correction factors, VCF, to find the volumes at temperature for which the density is given. Let us say cargo surveyor provided the density at 15 deg C as 0.816 and ASTM table 54B to be used. Let us use the same volumes and temperatures that we have used in our initial example. So first we need to find the VCF from ASTM table 54 for temperature 34 deg C. Go to ASTM table 54 and look under density at 15 C of 816.0 and temperature 34.0 deg C. Now at many places may be using the standard volume instead of weight. The standard volume of the cargo would also remain same as this is the volume at the fixed temperature, 15 deg C. But in any case, we still need the weight of the cargo as the stability calculations need the weight of the cargo in each tank and not the standard volume. Getting the weight from standard volume is simple. We have the volume at 15 deg C and we have the density at 15 deg C. If we multiply these two, we get the weight by a simple formula. But wait. The density at 15 deg C is always the density in vacuum. So if simply multiply this density with standard volume, we get the weight in vacuum. So we then need to either convert the weight in vacuum to weight in the air as we discussed earlier or we can simply convert the density in vacuum to density in air. There is a simple correlation between density in vacuum and density in the air. In above eulage report, I have applied the WCF to the gross standard volume but we can easily make one additional column and apply the WCF to the standard volume of each tank to get the weight in the air for each tank.